What's up everyone, this is Tom of RedmondPie.com and yesterday Apple released iOS 7 Beta 3. It's a little bit different from other beta releases due to the fact that this is quite a subtle update. There's a lot of subtle changes but they're very, very small. So we're just going to go over a few of the biggest ones in this video. Probably the biggest change in iOS 7 Beta 3 is that they've actually changed the font. The kind of default typeface that they're using in iOS 7 has changed. Not dramatically, they're just gone from a light to a uh, you know, not light, I guess. It's actually quite a good change and it makes the labels and stuff like that much easier to see. Now for quite a subtle change, but it's definitely worth noting is that uh, the kind of icon for folders is a lot more transparent than it used to be, so you can kind of see your background through it a bit more. Uh, obviously, again, not a huge change, and that's kind of intrinsic of iOS 7 Beta 3. There's a lot of these sort of changes. One of my favorite things in Beta 3, actually, is the new animation that when you download an app. So if I just go on Tiny Wings here and go to download it, We'll just tap on the little icon here, it will go to download, you'd obviously have to enter your password if you haven't done already, and then you get this really cool kind of circular animation here, I'm a big fan of it, it looks really wicked, and uh, you can pause it and stuff, obviously exactly the same, and uh, when it actually installs you get a cool animation as well, so that's one of my big, that's kind of one of the biggest changes, and that kind of gives you an idea about how small most of the changes are in beta 3, most of them are kind of tiny UI elements, like a slightly bigger battery icon and stuff like that, uh, but I'm a big fan of the new uh, animations. And then we get to the biggest change, which is just, again, fluidity and uh, functionality, kind of core functionality that wasn't in beta 2 or previous beta uh, iterations, and it's just kind of stability, everything's a bit more smooth, you get a, a much kind of snappier feel about the operating system, the transitions are still a bit slow, I wish they'd speed them up a bit, but on the whole that's most of the changes included in beta 3. We are getting near to the end of the beta cycle, and that is why you're seeing a smaller amount of changes, just tiny little tweaks within the operating system. However, there definitely are some more changes other than the ones I've listed here, so I'll link the article on Redmond Pi that accompanies this video, uh, and I just go over a few of the kind of smaller ones which just literally weren't worth mentioning in this video. If you have enjoyed or found this video useful, definitely drop it a like. Follow Redmond Pie on all of the social links down below. Mine are down below as well. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you in the next video.